Hello my dear friends, today we will see what is acetylcholine. What is acetylcholine? Acetylcholine is an organic chemical that functions in the brain and body of many types of animals including humans. We do have that as a neurotransmitter. We are seeing this lecture under neuropsychology where the neuronal systems are present in our body and brain. We do have this acetylcholine also. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter used at the neuromuscular junction. In other words, it is the chemical that motor neurons of the nervous system release in order to activate muscles. This property means that drugs that affect cholinergic system can have very dangerous effects ranging from paralysis to convulsions. Acetylcholine is also a neurotransmitter in the autonomic nervous system both as an internal transmitter for the symptomatic sympathetic nervous system and as the final product released by the parasympathetic nervous system. Acetylcholine is the primary neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system. This is what we should note very clearly. Acetylcholine is the primary neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system. Functions of acetylcholine in both the central nervous system that is CNS and the peripheral nervous system that is PNS. In the CNS that is central nervous system, cholinergic projections from the basal forebrain to the cerebral cortex and hippocampus support the cognitive functions of these target areas. In peripheral nervous system, Acetylcholine activates muscles and is a major neurotransmitter in the autonomic nervous system. So especially we are talking about this neurotransmitter acetylcholine as a muscles activator. Cellular effects regarding acetylcholine. Like many other biologically active substances, acetylcholine exerts its effects by binding to and activating receptors located on the surface of the cells. There are two main classes of acetylcholine receptor, nicotinic and mascarinic. They are named for the chemicals that can selectively activate each type of receptor without activating the other. Receptor number one is nicotinic and the other one is mascarinic. Mascarin is a compound found in mushroom Amanita muscaria. Nicotin is found in tobacco. Neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine is the substance the nervous system uses to activate skeletal muscles, a kind of striated muscle. These are the muscles used for all types of voluntary movement. In contrast to smooth muscle tissue, which is involved in a range of involuntary activities such as movement of food through the gastrointestinal tract and construction of blood vessels. Skeletal muscles are directly controlled by motor neurons located in the spinal cord or in a few cases the brainstem. These motor neurons send their accents through motor nerves from which they emerge to connect to muscle fibers at a special type of synapse called the neurotransmitter or neuromuscular junction. This particular neuromuscular junction topic is little bit wide. I am giving you very little information about this. When a motor neuron generates an action potential, it travels rapidly along the nerve until it reaches the neuromuscular junction where it in initiates electrochemical process that causes acetylcholine to be released into the space between the presynaptic terminal and the muscle fiber. The acetylcholine molecules then bind to nicotine ion channels receptors on the muscle cell membrane causing the ion channels to open. Sodium ions then flow into the muscle cell, initiating a sequence of steps that finally produce muscle contraction. Here in neuromuscular junction, muscle contraction is taken place with the help of all these details which you must go through if you have other reading options. In autonomic nervous system, the autonomic nervous system controls wide range of involuntary and unconscious body functions. Its main branches are the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Broadly speaking, the function of the sympathetic nervous system is to mobilize the body for action. The phrase often 
invoke to describe its fight or flight. The function of parasympathetic nervous system is to put the body in a state conducive to rest, regeneration, digestion and reproduction. The phrase often invoked to describe it as rest and digest or feed and breed. Both of these aforementioned system use acetylcholine but in different ways. That means acetylcholine is used both by parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system. In central nervous system, acetylcholine has a variety of effects on plasticity, arousal and reward. Acetylcholine has an important role in the enhancement of alertness when we wake up in sustaining attention and in learning and memory. Again, in learning and memory also, acetylcholine is having a good function. Damage to the cholinergic or acetylcholine producing system in the brain has been shown to be associated with the memory deficits associated with Alzheimer's disease. ACH has also been shown to promote REM sleep. Memory Acetylcholine has been implicated in learning and memory in several ways. In animals, disruption of the supply of acetylcholine to the neocortex impairs the learning of simple discrimination tasks comparable to the acquisition of factual information and disruption of the supply of acetylcholine to the hippocampus and adjacent cortical areas produces forgetfulness comparable to anterograde amnesia in humans. Acetylcholine dysfunction. Acetylcholine's dysfunction in the body can be disrupted by a variety of including variety of causes including diseases and toxins. The main problems which can be arised out of acetylcholine dysfunction are number one is Alzheimer's disease, number two is myasthenia. It is a condition that leads to muscle weakness. Number third is Parkinson's disease. It is a dangerous neurological condition that causes tremors and involuntary movements in the body parts or whole of the body. Now the fourth one is toxins and pesticides. Certain toxins can affect acetylcholine in the body and lead to enhanced mimics or interact with acetylcholine. For example, the venom of black widow spider also interacts with acetylcholine. When a person is bitten by a black widow spider, their acetylcholine levels rise dramatically. The person's acetylcholine level drama increases dramatically, leading to severe muscle contractions, spams, paralysis, and even death. So treatment is based on, it has to block the actions of acetylcholine. They are using, usually they use ACE inhibitors. In summary, acetylcholine is a critical neurotransmitter that plays an important role in the normal function of the brain and body Disruptions in the release and function of this neurotransmitter can result in significant problems in areas such as memory and movement. You must remember this particular neurotransmitter acetylcholine is available in both sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous systems. It also affects the memory and body movement, muscular movement. Thank you.